5 Areas Where Linux Is Better Than Windows or Mac OS Number 1, Resource Usage Linux is well known for being less resource intensive than both Microsoft Windows and Apple Mac OS, so Linux is often a better choice for less powerful computers, or older hardware which is outdated and also less powerful than the modern hardware. Linux can be a great way to make that sluggish PC feel fast, granted, it will not make the PC or laptop more powerful, but it is going to at least make the computer more usable for basic things like web browsing, word processing, playing basic games, etc. You will not run into sluggishness or slowdowns on any Linux distro, no matter how underpowered your hardware is, even a 20-year-old computer can happily run Linux provided it meets the minimum hardware requirements for the chosen distro of choice. Number 2, Freedom. When we say free, we mean free as in freedom, not cost, and Linux is all about being free for the user to study the source code, modify, redistribute, and create your own source code which could be based on existing source code from Linux distros. Is it any wonder we have more than 600 Linux distros in existence? The open source aspect is what makes Linux a go-to system for many software developers, coders and programmers, and hackers, as anyone with a bit of technical skill can easily modify and redistribute the source code, so if someone wants to change a feature or add something new, he or she can do that, and the open source aspect also makes Linux a highly watched code base, the source code is often under heavy surveillance in the Linux world, as anyone can access it at any time which makes distribution of malicious code or software very hard when a software is free and open source, due to the fact that many technically skilled professionals study and often modify the source code, and then distribute it to us. Linux and some of its software often receive security patches quicker because of this as well. Again, it's due to the fact that prying eyes have constant access to modify and redistribute the source code. If you were to attempt to sell or modify Microsoft Windows or Mac OS, you would technically be breaking the law and you could go to prison, possibly up to 10 or more years, but with Linux, you can modify and distribute it whatever you want and not worry about any serious legal consequences. Number 3. No Forced Updates Ever had the inconvenience of Windows forcing you to restart your PC in the middle of work or playing a game? It's incredibly frustrating isn't it? Well, with any Linux distro, there is no forced updates, whether or not updates are applied to your system and applications is entirely on you, so you get to choose when you want to install the updates, that is, if you want to install the updates, you don't have to update your distro if you wish not to, however, this would be silly as Linux is not immune from security threats and malware, so if a vulnerability is found and it's known to affect the Linux kernel you're screwed without those security updates, so it's advisable that you update your Linux distro, but remember, you get to choose when those updates take place, not the big bad corporation that wants all your money. I should also mention that 99.9% .9 of Linux distributions have no built-in tracking or telemetry data collection, no forced software which is unremovable, bloatware, there is no big corporate entity controlling you or your computer, you're back in control, you're in the driver's seat so to speak. Number 4, Variety of Desktop Environments and Different Linux Distributions Linux has so much variety compared to Windows and Mac OS, there are over 600 distributions to choose from, all of which have their own target market and unique features. There are distributions which focus on giving you close to full privacy and anonymity. Others focus on providing you with an easy-to-use desktop interface which looks familiar to migrating users from Windows or Mac OS. Some distros want to provide you with the most minimalist environment you could want, and you basically work on the distro from the ground up. So whatever your taste is, Linux has something for everyone, there is a flavor to cater to your unique tastes, and if you don't like it, you can modify it and share it with other people who might appreciate your ideas and contributions. Linux is also known for the wide range of desktop environments. BSD can also use the following desktop environments, XFCE, Mart A, GNOME, Cinnamon, Enlightenment, KDE Plasma, LXDE, and LXQT.
are some of the most popular desktop environments which come in most Linux distributions, all of them have their own unique look and some provide you a lightweight environment. XFCE is well known for being light and less resource hungry than Cinnamon or GNOME. KDE Plasma has a lot of customization features and a very nice look to it, so whatever you're looking for, there should be a desktop environment that suits you. Remember, Linux is not for everyone, and most people probably are not even aware of its existence. So if we want people to learn about its benefits and potentially gain an interest in using it, we need to educate them and do so in the right manner, provide factual accurate information, and don't be deceptive or lie to them, as you're not telling them the truth about Linux. Finally, in at number 5, welcome to a community. Linux is all about connecting with a broad and large community of users, no matter the distro you're on, there are large communities for popular distros such as Linux Mint, Arch Linux, Jim2, Ubuntu, Fedora, OpenSUSE, and so many others have forums where you can chat and discuss things with a bunch of other Linux users. Sure, you don't have the backing of an entity such as Microsoft, Google, or Apple, but this frees you from their tight grip on you, at least on an operating system level, they no longer get to dictate the way you use the very computer you bought with hard-earned money, which in a sense also refers to that freedom part one was talking about earlier, Linux grants you freedom you otherwise simply would not have, the system does not track you, does not fill your computer up with unnecessary software, it does not force you to update at an inconvenient time, it's also generally regarded as being more stable and robust than Windows. Linux rarely ever needs rebooting, perhaps after a kernel update, but that's about it. You can run your PC forever. Linux will run until the hardware stops working. You could never accomplish this with Microsoft Windows or Apple Mac OS. So why not start your Linux journey today? Take a deep dive into this great world of free and open source operating systems where you're in control of the system, not the corporate entity. Remember, it's not about what you want with Microsoft Windows, it's about what Microsoft thinks is best for you. There is total disregard for what is right. All those greedy bastards care about is the money. That is a very tried and true thing I just stated. Sorry Windows users, it's very true. You either have to get used to Microsoft giving you a good spanking and slapping you around, and treating you like club rats or, you can break free from their dictatorship environment and go to the land of freedom, liberty, and opportunity. Windows is a service, and Microsoft really wants you to use their artificial intelligence services and features. They are planning to force this in an upcoming Windows 11 feature update that will happen later on in the year. This could have many people angry or annoyed, as they will not be able to remove or disable the AI software. Lots of people don't like AI for many reasons, but if Microsoft forces us to use their crappy AI services and software, we could see more people either downgrading to Windows 10, or seeking an alternative operating system, potentially, to run alongside Windows 11 or 10, and for those seeking alternative systems, I would highly recommend you go and try Linux Mint, one of the best beginner-friendly Linux distributions out there. Mint is easy to set up, configure, and use. It's very stable and robust, comes in three different editions, two of which are catered towards older and less powerful machines, and it comes with lots of great software pre-installed to get you started. Need a feature-rich free open source office suite? Linux Mint comes with the fantastic and highly regarded LibreOffice. Want a decent web browser that's got more privacy and customization than Google Chrome? Welcome to the Mozilla Firefox gang. Want a great media player that can play all your movies, music, and even go as far as streaming YouTube videos or other things in your media player? VLC has got you covered, all of the mentioned comes with Linux Mint, and it comes with more software I haven't even mentioned, such as Warpinator, a file sharing client which can wirelessly share files with Windows, Mac, Chrome OS, Android, and iOS devices, and you can do this in reverse as well provided that Warpinator is on the device you want to use to share the files with. And with Linux Mint, there is a handy software center which will help you avoid needing to use the terminal to install, update, and remove your software.
However, the terminal is a quick and convenient way to install, update, and remove software, so it's not a bad idea you also learn various commands to use in Linux, because there will be times where terminal use is necessary, sometimes for certain apps and tasks, they can only be done inside the terminal, so you should be prepared to get your hands dirty and dig deep into the terminal if you wish to migrate to Linux, but with all that out of the way, we will now draw this video to a close. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next video. Bye for now.